right today we learn about this uh, machine learning introduction right so as part of this one first we'll try to see what is generically algorithm the moment you say algorithm what do you mean by that what do you mean by that it's simply a set of rules are simply it's a process to be followed in the calculations especially by a computer for instance we'll take one simple one adding two numbers we are trying to do accept any two numbers from the user add those two numbers then return the result the work whatever we are doing here that is nothing but i can call it as one algorithm simple words a sequence of steps is called as algorithm set of rules called as algorithm one process is called as algorithm correct now what is the machine learning here what is the machine learning two definitions are available in the market which are given by two authors of this machine learning one is arthur second is tom michael if you talk about the arthur the field of study that gives computers the ability to learn without being explicitly programmed let's say i have to do 100 tasks i have to do it all 100 tasks you do not sit and you do not write everything if you write up to certain extent rest of the things it has to learn its own by seeing the data by seeing the data that's what what arthur is trying to tell this is older and informal definition he is called as arthur and if you want to read more information about uh, this personality you can go and you can read from the wiki okay right so what is your majorly important point are you going to write each and every line you are going to write it or up to certain extent you are going to write rest of things machine is going to learn yeah up to certain extent we are going to write it rest of things machine is going to learn about it let us move on to the next one that's called as that's called as about the tom tom definition you trying to say provide a more modern definition which is known as etp etp what is the meaning of here is a computer program is said to learn from experience that is known as e with respect to some class of t t stands for what task and your p stands for performance or is known as accuracy performance doesn't mean that one run time your performance meaning is different performance meaning is what accuracy it's not about the run time it's about the accuracy and that is we are going to do it with the p so total how many letters are there experience e task t then performance there is nothing but accuracy p for example you build it a program for the game this is the game now what is the input for this one experience is what let's take from 2000 year onwards from 2000 year onwards what are the games which are happened in reality player one player two player one push from uh, first box to third box first step and player two step one he pushed from first box to fifth box like that all data we are trying to feed to the mission like that feeding we did it let us say uh, one million records we feeded one million games we feeded from this one million games it is going to learn okay this is how we have to play the game so one million games whatever we are feeding the data that is what known as experience your task is next it is going to play its own that's what called as what task then finally how accurately it is playing that's what it is going to say as what is that performance or accuracy so e stands for here the experience of playing many games of checkers 
T is nothing but the task of playing checkers. P is nothing but the probability that the program will win in the game. So that's what the ETP meaning. For example, tomorrow you may be designing, tomorrow you may be designing a cancer detecting, detecting machine learning algorithm. There, what is the experience? N number of manually identified identified cancer cases are experience. What is the task? Identifying the cancer is the task. What is the P? How accurately we are identifying it? If I give 100 patients, out of 100 patients, how many patients are able to identify accurately? That is what the ETP in that case. For example, you build a, a machine learning algorithm to detect to detect the given mail is spam mail or genuine mail. In that one, what is experience? N number of n number of manually identified mails. Okay, by seeing some of the mails, you come to know okay, it is a spam. It is a genuine, right? Based on what? Maybe maybe you own a lottery of one billion dollars. That is a spam or uh, it is genuine? It is spam. Or it is giving, okay, uh, okay, this is a, a click on this one to get the one billion dollars. That also what? Spam. And your friend is sending, hey, I am, I am staying in this location, please come and meet me, he, like this is sending. That is what? Genuine. So what I am trying to say is by reading the mail manually, you are able to identify this is spam, this is genuine, like that, right? This kind of things are going to feed as a experience. Thereafter, based on some keywords, it, it, will, it will mature, it will learn, okay, how to identify this as a fake, this as a genuine. That is called as task. How effectively it is identifying, that is called as what? Performance. That's what the meaning of ETP. Is it clear about the ETP? Okay. Now, applications of ML, applications of ML. I have one question. Um, yeah. When you're training the algorithms, it depends upon uh, the data you have been feeding, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. When you're training the algorithm, yeah. So what is acceptable accuracy for any of the algorithm? Super, super, super question. Now, here, acceptable accuracy is a one parameter which will changes business to business and business problem statement to business problem statement. Said that, said that. If I take your healthcare, if I take your life science, if I take your uh, uh, banking, if I take your retail, okay, anywhere within the retail itself, some of the business cases they will expect 100 percentage. Some of the business cases, they are happy even if you give the 70% percentage also. That all depends on business statement to business statement will change this. Okay. So we are going to try until business accepts your model. That may be sometimes 70 also acceptable. Sometimes 99 also may not be acceptable. Okay. For example, I will tell you, sales prediction so model, you are doing it. Correct. Sales, sales prediction model, you are doing it. Sales prediction model, let us say you given 2020, your sales is going to increase by 10 percentage you given. And you given model accuracy is equal to 90 uh, percentage only given. That means what? 90 percent of times my numbers are going to be correct. But still they will be happy with that one. Because it's sales. Suppose you give one more model, that model is about detecting, detecting this is a cancer or not cancer. In that case, you may not be happy with the 90% accuracy, you are expecting 96-97. It is because it is about the life, right? Yeah. So there is a there is a benchmarks are available business to business. However, however, we are going to set the confidence interval. Confidence interval. If the confidence interval for particular patient is less than 99 percentage, 
we will not display, we will not comment anything about the task. We will say, please meet physically the doctor. If you are able to give the contents more than 99, that is the threshold we are going to offer. If it is given more than 99, then we are going to say, yes, automatically we are going to process if it is a cancer or not. The thresholds, we can define it. Okay. Okay, we are going to see that kind of uh, pictures. Fine, as of now, we understand two points. Algorithm means nothing but a set of rules or set of steps is called as algorithm. Machine learning algorithm definitions are two famous uh, people are available in this area. One is Tom, Michael. Okay, then is Arthur. And as for them, one of the definition is we should not write explicitly entire code. Certain code you written, rest of the code, it has to write its own or it has to understand its own. There's a one definition. It is older definition. The latest definition is about the ETP. E stands for experience, T stands for task, P stands for accuracy or performance. Accuracy or performance. Please look into this. Please look into these definitions once.